Hi, this is Delcy Plouffe, and I just wanted to share with you today a few things that I'm learning about bees. Now, in one of my recent posts, I shared 10 helpful tips in getting started with bees, and number one on that list was finding someone in your area who is experienced with bees. I think that is key, because when I started last spring, I had no idea what even to how to even begin to start. And so I really think it's important to find somebody in your area that knows what they're doing and has success with with starting bees and, and keeping bees and that they can share that with you and even come over and help you when you're having troubles or just aren't sure. Because I know I had so many times when I really didn't know what I was doing and I would look at my hives and my bees and say, is this normal? And they could come over, this man that's helping me came over and, and would say, oh yeah, that's totally normal. Or, or, you know, we need to do this and I think this is what we need to do next. So if you're starting with bees, find somebody. Don't be intimidated by that or scared about that, but just get the word out that you're looking for somebody that is experienced with bees and that you really would want to get started with them. And I have a feeling that they would love to help you because bees are a wonderful hobby and and the people that are doing them want to share their love for bees as well. So today, I am going to be getting a package of bees um, and I'm going to be learning today from the man that's helping me um, in how to get them started in the hive. And he has done this before. He has found a very successful way for him in our area in doing this. And he's going to show me how to do that. And so one of the first things that he told me was to have frames that were already, um, already built up and, and had the 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 frames were just filled with the comb and that was something important because it is a lot of work for bees to get these frames like this one here doesn't have have any it just has the, the main frame and so the the bees would need to then come in and fill this all in and fill it in with their the the rest of the comb that they do and so to start with a frame that already has that built up in there is important and so I have um, five or seven of these and I'm going to fill them with I have my sugar water here it is um, already prepared and so I'm going to be filling these with these frames with this this honey or I mean with the sugar water uh, and this will help the bees when they're um, when they're getting ready and getting started it gives them the food and something to go with um, in these so that is one of the first steps that he said to do <laughs> in getting ready for my uh, package of bees that's coming and then we'll see what what he says and what he wants us to do next Hey, I'm here inside our shed here where I've got bees. <laughs> They're waiting in the cool of the shed. They were dropped off the middle of the day by my bee guy and he gave me all the instructions that I need. So hopefully I remember all I need to do tonight right before uh, right before sundown, we're going to go out and put them in their new hive and, and give them their new home. So I'm pretty excited. But here they are. You can see that um, they're in their little box here waiting for their new home. So it's pretty exciting here at Heritage Club Stables. I have my beehive ready and in place. I have it on its bottom board and then with the bottom box and inside I have the frames, uh, the five frames all together and I've sprinkled the sugar water on them. And then on the front here I have put on the, the sugar water that will um, help get these bees going and so then this evening when it cools off I'll be putting the bees in place with their queen. So we have our bee box here. The first thing I'm going to do is pound all the, the bees down and pry open the top here. And then we're going to cover the hole once the can is out. Oh, 
Yeah, you've got your suit on. Me, see me too. <laughs> okay, so now if you could have the, that ready, we're going to cover the top once I pull this out just so the bees don't all come out. It's okay, don't squish them. It's okay, let them just, just slide it over. So, squished. Okay. You can see there's some bees on the bottom here. No. All right, now we're going to slide out the queen. She is... She's... Yeah. We just don't want to kill the bees as they, they're going to yeah, kind of right. come out. Oh. Yeah. We want to make it so that can slide down this way? Yep, it's going to slide down. <laughs> they're all getting out. I don't know what to do. There we go. Here it comes. Okay. Hey, so you can the see queen. the queen inside here. I'm going to reach down and next we're going to take this cork out very carefully. And then what? Am mm -hmm. I supposed to keep holding on this? I yeah. think they'll pop it up if I... Mm -hmm. Some sugar honey. We have some sugar honey here that we're gonna take out the cork. We don't want the queen to get out. These are you, honey. Yeah, that's okay. These are you, honey. Yeah, you got bees everywhere, huh? And this sugar honey. going to make it so that the bees will eat eat it and then slowly release the queen but we also don't want to release the queen at the same time she Now, where are you going to put her? We are going to put her between the two frames in the, in the box here. So, I'm going to squish this honey sugar, the sugar honey in that hole. Queen is still moving around inside. <laughs> and all the rest of the crew is saying, come on, let's go here. <laughs> okay, yeah, they want their queen, don't they? Okay, so we're gonna... So am I supposed to slide this off now? Nope, not yet. Okay. Let's... Oops, we're gonna slide it over here, though. Because we're going to... Put between the two frames, we've got a five frames here, and between the outer two frames, we're going to slide this queen and so that the screen is facing out so it's not touching any of the comb. We're going to make it tight so it doesn't slide down. We're going to tighten all the frames up against it. Okay, and then we're going to oops, put some of these bees around her. Let's shake them off this can here. We're going to We're going to put some of the bees on top of the queen now, but not we're not going to put all of them. So 
We're gonna then slide this right inside there. With the lid, with my that lid still. We're gonna have to take a bit of the lid off. And we'll just we shake some of them. There you go, we got a bit of bees on top of the queen there. Carefully putting the box down on the bottom here. As you can see here, we have the box that the bees came in right here. We have our five frames here. You can see right in here uh, is the where we have the queen in, in the box there. She most likely at this point has been has been chewed out and is out there. None of the bees are in the box, so that's a good sign. So you can see the queen, how we sandwiched it in there and pushed all the frames up really tight together. One thing that you can do with your sugar water is put sugar on the sugar water, sprinkle it on the bees, um, then they start cleaning their I'm going to be putting the pollen patties that I had made. They are a good nutrient source for the bees. I'm going to be placing them in the hive. It's quick and easy to pull it off. I'm going to place it on top here. And the bees will really enjoy that and it will be really good for them. It's Bee Pro. That's a good nutrient for them. I'm also going to be adding some sugar water to my other hive that I kept through the winter. So I'm going to be adding that in today. And I'm also going to be giving that hive their Bee Pro Patty as well. You can see all the bees around their sugar water. I'll fill that one up as well. These are ready for some summer spring flowers and some warmer weather. Here is my hive. I just placed the patty on the top. This is the hive that I carry through the winter. Lots of bees. This is a good, strong, and solid hive. That's pretty exciting. Just place the sugar water there. That's a lot of bees. I hope this video has helped you and I would love to hear from you. Please comment below. What was it that you liked? What did you learn? Was this video of value to you? If yes, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And please feel free to share it on your favorite social media platform. And also, join us at heritageclubstables.com where you can stay connected and also receive exclusive emails with great content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to continuing this journey with you in the next video.